Good day. Welcome to another session of Fog Accountancy Tutorials. Today, we are going to continue our lesson on overhead analysis. Now, in our previous video, we used the repeated distribution method to solve a question, and then we, are, we were able to understand that from that video. Now, in this video, we are going to use the next method, which is the elimination method. The elimination method is very simple, the easiest among them all, because we are not going to do any repeated distribution. We'll just share it once, and then that'll be all. And so without wasting my time, I'm going to use the same question to solve the elimination method for you to see how it's done. All right. The company has three production departments, X, Y, and Z. It also has two service departments, one and two. The following budgeted cost data is available for the department. So the amounts that are directly allocated, that are the total. So we have production department, X, Y, and Z, 100,000, 80,000, and 90,000 Ghana cities, respectively. And then amount to be apportioned, the service department, one and two, 20,000 and 15,000 Ghana cities, respectively. And then we are required to apportion the service department cost, taking the following into consideration. So production department, X, Y, and Z, and then service department one and two. You see, reapportioning service department one, it is 40%, 20%, 30%, 30%, and 10% respectively. And then for service department two is 30%, 25%, 25%, and 20%. So these are reciprocal services being offered. Now, in this very scenario, now in this very scenario, even though it's the same question we solved in the previous one, I want us to assume that um, we are going to run the figure to the nearest 10. Okay, to the nearest 10. So that is what we are going to do. Now, this is a reciprocal service, but we are going to use the elimination method. Now, let me show you how the elimination method works. With the elimination method, we do not keep on repeating. With the elimination method, once service department, once overhead are shared, we don't give it anything again. So in other words, even though there are reciprocal services, when we are sharing service department two, we are not going to give it, we are not going to give some to the service department again because we have eliminated that. And once we have eliminated that and we are sharing and we're not going to give, then what happens to the ratio? I'm going to teach you how to adjust the ratio as well. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to do reapportionment. This is the elimination method, even though they are reciprocal services. So reapportionment of colon. So we are reapportioning service department one. Now the ratio according to the question is 40, 20, 30, 10. So 40 is to 20 is to 30 is to 10. We are reapportioning service department one. Now it means that 40% of 20,000, we got that from the previous video, was 8,000. Then 20% then of 20,000 is 4,000, 30% 30 of 20,000 is 6,000, and then 10% of 20,000 is 2,000. And then we put the 20,000 itself beneath the figure, and then we put that in brackets. Of course, it does not affect the totals. Then we come to reapportionment of service department two. And this is where I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain the main idea behind the elimination. So please watch out. The ratio we have been given is 30, 25, 25, 20. So 30 is to 25, is to 25, is to 30, it is to 20, sorry. Now, what it means is that 30 is for X, 25 for Y, 25 for Z, and 20 for one. Now, we have already eliminated one. Even though the ratio permits that we give it a portion, because we are not using the repeated distribution method, we are not going to give it. If it was a repeated distribution, we give, we ratio, we give, we ratio, we give. But with the elimination method, the idea is that once you have been eliminated, go away. We are not coming back. And so this ratio of 20%, which is supposed to be shared for the service department one, will now become ineffective. Now remember that the total ratio is 100. So if it is 30%, it is 30 over 100. That is what it means. If it is 25, it's 20 over, 25 over 100. But because the ratio of 20% is now becoming ineffective, 
then we need to restructure the ratio so now it's going to be 20, 30 25 25 this 20 even though it's written is not going to be used so the total ratio no more becomes 100 but if you take 20 out of 100 and you add this three alone it's 80. so it means that for the first one it's going to be 30 over 80 instead of 30 over 100. now if you make it 30 over 100 25 over 100 25 over 100 and you share for the three and you want to ignore the amount the total is not going to be the same as what you are going to share so we need to change the ratio we eliminate where the service department benefits and then we change the ratio so that after sharing the total amount becomes exactly what we are sharing and then we are done this is very simple that is the elimination method and so what we are doing is that now how much are we sharing it's not fifteen thousand because two thousand has been added so it's seventeen thousand so in the, in the first one in the first department x it's going to be 30 over 80 times 17,000. That is what it's going to be. And that is going to give us 6,375. So this is what we are going to get, 6,375. And then when we get to department Y, it's 25 over 80 times 17,000. And that is going to give us 5,000. Okay, I said to the nearest 10. Okay, let's ignore that. So 5,312.5. And then the same 25. So 5,312.5. Then we didn't give anything to service department one, even though it was entitled. If it was a repeated distribution method, we'll give it. But because we are using the elimination, we have already eliminated it. And then we put 17,000 in bracket. And ladies and gentlemen, when you do this, you are done and nothing more comes again. Very short and simple. And so you see that the repeated distribution method that we did earlier is much complex. The elimination method is very simple. And then you can put your totals and then you are done. I'm sure this is also very understandable. So please, the question can decide to tell you which one to use. If the question asks you to use the elimination method, this is how you're going to go by it, even though they are reciprocal services. If the question demands that you use the repeated distribution method, then God be your helper. You go by that long method that I taught you in the previous video. Okay. So this brings us to the end of our video on this very method. Now remember that we still have the algebraic method to do, and we also have to look at overhead absorption rates and overhead absorption. Remember to subscribe to this channel if it is your first time. Share this video, invite your friends to be part of this community, and I know that we all shall be successful together. And until we meet again for another one, it's bye for now.